Ah, there we go. Much better. Wow, it's amazing what a good night's sleep on an actual titanium cushion can do for a person. Actually, I'm getting a little thirsty. I should probably start getting ready to head back. It's probably okay that I leave this mechanical stomach here to do its job. I'm gonna need the energy if I ever come back here. But you, on the other hand, you're coming with me. I mean, I can probably build another one of these back at base, but I may as well just take this one. Just take all the raw resources, and if I don't need it, then I can just disassemble it there and get the resources there. I could buy a metal stomach. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Am I good? I'm good. Okay. Oh, thank god. That took a lot longer than it should have. And I'm still really freaking thirsty. But hey, I've got a whole bunch of things that I can build back at home now. And I'm only slightly tired and exhausted and hungry and thirsty and only slightly miserable. Okay, well I can say that was a humbling experience. Um, I think I'm 10 pounds lighter due to blood loss. Because that's biology. I'm not thirsty anymore, at least, so that should be good. I mean, if all else fails, I can just be a vampire and take blood from something else living around here. I mean, surely that should be fine. Our, our bodies ought to be similar enough for that to work. I'm able to eat them just fine and absorb their nutrients. That's science. I should build some things. Actually, I've gotten so many blueprints around here that I probably could build entire new facilities. But I'm going to have to expand outwards if I want this to work. But that's no problem, because I am absolutely filled with titanium. Yeah, here we go. Set up a couple of labs, move a little bit further away from the main area, and I'll have Rapture in no time. Warning, update failed. Please restart system at your nearest convenience. What update were you trying to attempt just now, computer? Nearest can you mean soonest can oh no you do mean nearest convenience, I see. Okay. Unable to connect to server. Okay, tell you what. After I go check out this that island that I saw earlier, I I'll go back to the Aurora and see if I can repair the server. I don't think you understand how this works. We're trying to connect to her. I don't see how that would be possible. There's no communications relay. Well, there's a tiny little thing yeah, here, but... Yeah, kind of... Yeah, th th think about that. I don't know how we exactly received the notification that there was an update. Can't check the patch notes, though, so... No idea what's good for. Probably remove the SAS molecule or something. Or, 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 or the murdering impulses one. Who knows? Why were those programmed into the assistant robot AI? Why were lips and a tongue built into the hardware of the AI? I can't find the lips and tongue that you were referring to earlier. They could be anywhere on the space, and I can't find them. Constantly you're watching. still getting there wrong. We don't have lips. There's a mouth somewhere here, and I can't find it. Meanwhile, my search for quartz has led me to this cave, and I see you, little creature. I think it's time for some revenge. Bring it on. Twerp. Ow! You brought it. Whoa, what's this? Okay, so this fish nearly killed me. But, um, I got something called crash powder from it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I can use this to build a welder. You are correct. The welder will you increase. Your chances of survival by point zero 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 five percent. That's amazing! I have to improve my odds immediately! Provided you know how to use it. Provided you do not point it in the face. Yeah, you know what, I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and lower his uh, survival rating by another half a percent? Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, so exploring... I think there's some... I think there's something I missed earlier. Yeah. My scanner picked up something while I was floating around here looking for some titanium. What? 
What are you doing out here? Or not. Nothing makes sense in this world anymore. I think I'm seeing things now, just straight up. I must be losing my mind. Yeah, there it is, a lab counter. Might be good for the bio lab back at home. <laughs> Why? This is the safe shallows. What are you doing out here, you monster? Okay. Gotcha, loud and clear, you jackass. Wait. Am I being bitten by a ghost? This is the only explanation I still have for any of this anymore. I'm... Where's base? There's base. I'm gonna get back to base. Whoa. Uh, no, no, no. I want to check out this place, but clearly you don't want me here. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go inside into my building. Yes, here we go. Nice and cozy. So this room has changed a bit. Um, I've replaced all the items in here with the bioreactor because this is actually a pretty handy source of fuel at night. And I have a feeling that I'm going to be a lot more active at night with the things I've got. Um, let's continue this tour. This room's a lot more bright because I have installed some creep vine seeds into the bottom of the containment unit. And they've grown up into little creep vine creatures. Uh, in addition to providing safe seeds from now on, without having to go and deal with the monsters out there, it also gives me the ability to easily refuel my bioreactor. And this upper floor has turned into an aquarium. I mean, I figure, if I can eventually escape this planet and bring as many different specimens as I can, I'll become famous! But, there's one specimen I simply cannot sell, and that's this little guy down here! Oh, look at him! Or her, I'm still not entirely sure what you are. It looks like you need some friends, though. Um, but I'll take care of that in a little bit, because I'm not finished exploring my new base yet. We still have to go to the workbench. In situations like these, it's important to build a proper workspace. And since I don't want to work next to a giant mechanical stomach, or inside of a fish tank, or dealing with the other fish, I have built a new area over here. It's got the battery charger, and a fabricator, and a whole bunch of boxes that I can store things in. Storage is important. I mean, I wouldn't want those ghosts out there coming in here and taking my loot, so storage boxes are cool. What else is cool? Uh, this new thing that I've actually got, the modification station. Because if memory serves, I can use this thing to improve my gear. Uh, but I'll tackle that in a minute or two. First, I want to make sure that our manatee friend has some more little friends that he can pick on. Or, no, no, that's not what friends are for. Friends are for friendly things. Like eating together, and gossiping about your other friends. Yeah, here we go. Little tinier friends. I'll just put these in the tank here, and I'm sure that in no time you'll have some new buddies to chat with. That'll make your experience inside of this place a little bit more tolerable while I do some research. Let's go up to the next level, because there is something else that I've built. I've built a residential habitat. So here I can get some rest and sleep on the bench, and with these uh, plant pots that we got inside and this desk space, we now have a place to chill and relax. So, if I find any more um, comfort items, I'm going to be putting them in this uh, bedroom, basically, from now on. Shame I don't have an actual bed, but we'll make, we make do with what we've got. We have this nice view of our lab from this location. So, from here we can relax and enjoy the night. But that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to build. Namely, I'm here to build a couple of brand new devices. Now, this one I've been particularly excited about, the propulsion cannon. I can't wait to see what this thing is. What indeed are we looking at? Whatever this thing is, it's really chunky. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. That might just mean it has more of a kick to it. Chunkiness. Um, I wonder what it propels. Does it propel me? Or does it propel fish? Or does it propel the water? Or does it repel rocks? Uh, what happens if I aim it at something? Oh! Whoa, look at this! 
Oh, wow! Oh my god, this is amazing! Shtabram! Okay, yeah, I definitely see things going better for me now that I can push fish backwards and away from me. I don't even see where that thing went. Yeah, I'd love to see a ghost try to get me now.